Hello everyone, welcome to IT Learn 360 and today's tutorial is going to be very very interesting and it is the most trending and debating you know uh, tutorial as well because as a QA most of us you know as a beginner or who is working in uh, industry as a QA we all get a question that hey how to you know like work on an e-commerce you know project how we review how we plan the testing in e-commerce project so all these things you know are very trending hot topics so that is why we have come with a very great video which is of you know four to five minutes video mostly which will give you guys a complete understanding that there is not any rocket science needed to work as a qa on e-commerce project as well okay so those who don't understand what we mean with e-commerce project ultimately E-commerce projects are like Amazon from where we shop online, right? We do online businesses as well, right? So without wasting any time, let's start. So I'm keeping this project to give you an idea and scenario. So this is the project which sell Selenium books, you know, online. Or you can say not just Selenium, web development based books as well, okay? So this is the homepage of this, you know, complete product. And on this as well, there is a separate scenario for test cases. So this is to give you guys understanding that how we cover the scenarios in e-commerce. Okay. So first of all, it doesn't matter whether it's e-commerce or any other domain project. The main thing is that as a tester, we have to cover all possible scenarios, all possible modules. So here are the modules which we cover from home page perspective. There are one to 18 requirements for home page. Like first is home page with three sliders only. So it will be given the instructions or you can say the acceptance criteria as well that home page must contain only three sliders. So here is the home page one, two, three, three sliders only. Second requirement home page should have three arrivals only. So if I jump up and here new arrivals, how many? One, two, three. So that is how the you know complete requirement will be given to us for the testing so we will be covering home page based scenarios then after that my account login scenario and my account registration scenario if i come here you see this is the menu bar right we call this section menu bar as well which have a lot of options so here is the my account section if i click on my account section it have two sections one is register one is login right so let me raise this and let us come back to the requirement side so here is the my account registration section where all the you know requirement for testing scenarios are available same on top for my account login as well all scenarios are giving to test with empty username or empty password with correct incorrect all the scenarios will be given to us with the acceptance criteria so it will help us in testing after that there will be more modules like shop feature for filtering and all so if i come back here and go to shop feature so here all the products will open which this platform is selling so here they give filter as well so according to filter we can search so all these things requirement is given here to test okay then in the end there is my account dashboard module which we need to test as after login we will be testing if we added any book to our you know like uh, <clears throat> the item section uh, let's say if i add this book so when i added the price appeared here right so these things we will be testing that how the orders functionality will work if someone order how the address features will work how the checkout features will work so all those things we will be covering in my account dashboard. So ultimately now you guys understand that when it comes to e-commerce based projects, so that is how we plan the complete test scenarios. And if you guys are thinking that as a tester, you are only going to work on this tool, then you are wrong my friend, because when we work in the industry, when we work on a particular project, we, hold, we work as a team, right? So we will be involved in a team in planning this testing and all. And also when it comes to writing test cases or executing test cases, it will also be divided that home page will be done by these two testers. Login page will be done by these two testers. 
so that is how complete test execution or test case creation can be divided as well okay so that's all what i was you know looking to share with you guys i hope this gives you more you know better idea about the e-commerce domain based projects as well thank you for watching if you guys have any question or any other requirement or any other demand video on which you want us to share with you do let us know in the comments do make sure to subscribe our channel and like our video as well if you enjoyed it thank you bye bye